Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Newton and this is the Melhore Seu Inglês Podcast, o seu podcast de dicas de inglês. Hello everyone, in this week's episode we're going to see expressions that use adjectives and prepositions. Uh, so, for example, it was nice of you to, so nice of kind of somebody, good of, it was generous of you, it was polite of you, stupid of you, silly of you, of somebody to do something. It's a very common expression. So let's see some examples. Thank you. It was very kind of you to help me. It is stupid of me to go out without a coat in such cold weather. However, be nice, be kind, be good, be generous, be polite, be rude, be friendly, be cruel to somebody is another structure. So, nice, be nice to somebody, kind to somebody, polite to somebody. So, let's see some examples. They have always been very nice to me. We don't say nice with me. Nice to me. Why were you so unfriendly to Lucy? We say to Lucy. Okay? Uh, next one. Adjective plus about or with. For example, angry about something. Annoyed about something. Furious about something. Angry with somebody. Annoyed with somebody or furious with somebody for doing something. So, let's see some examples. It's stupid to get angry about things that don't matter. Are you annoyed with me for being late? We can also use excited about a situation, worried about a situation, upset about a situation, nervous about a situation, happy about a situation, etc. For example, are you excited about going away next week? Lisa is upset about not, have, not being invited to the party. Delighted with, pleased with, satisfied with, happy with, disappointed with something you receive or the result of something. So, for example, I was delighted with the present you gave me. So, we use with, with, delighted, pleased with, satisfied with, happy with, disappointed with. Let's see another example. Were you happy with your re-exam results? Were you happy with your exam results? Adjective plus at, by or with. For example, we say surprised at something or by something shocked at something or by something, amazed at something or by something, astonished at something or astonished by something. Let's see some examples. Everybody was surprised at the news or everybody was surprised by the news. I hope you weren't shocked by what I said. I hope you weren't shocked at what I said. You can also say impressed with somebody or impressed with something or impressed by somebody or impressed by something. Let's see some examples. I'm very impressed with her English. It's very good. I'm very impressed by her English. It's very good. Fed up with something or bored with something. For example, I don't enjoy my job anymore. I'm fed up with it. I'm bored with it. Sorry about a situation or something that happened. Or, uh, so in this case we say, for example, I'm sorry about the mess. I will clear it up later. We are all sorry about Julie losing her job. Or you can also say sorry for something you did or sorry about something you did. For example, Alex is very sorry for what he said or sorry about what he said. I'm sorry for shouting at you yesterday or I'm sorry about shouting. 
You can also say, I'm sorry I did something. For example, I'm sorry I shouted at you yesterday. Feel for somebody who is in a bad situation. We use feel for or be sorry for somebody who is in a bad situation. For example, I feel sorry for Matt. He's had a lot of bad luck. Not, I feel sorry about Matt. So, I feel sorry for Matt. Oh, I am sorry for Matt. And that is this week's episode. And this was the melhor e seu inglês of this week. E se você quiser falar inglês em tempo recorde, entre em contato com a gente. Aulas individuais e personalizadas no Skype ou WhatsApp. Mande uma mensagem para Erika de Padua, Erika com K, arroba gmail.com ou no WhatsApp 31 99223 31 99223 5540 e faça uma aula experimental gratuita para dicas de inglês, exercícios e muita coisa legal para você aprender inglês sozinho. Procure por Melhore Seu Inglês no Instagram, Facebook e YouTube e visite o nosso site melhoreseuinglês.wordpress.com Keep improving your English and see you on the next episode of Melhore Seu Inglês!